to you know connect the dots if you will right and that's what memory is all about memory is all about hey my friend jean serge gagnon today we're going to talk about the memory our memory how does our memory work in you know broad terms and how can you use it to get people to buy from you now i'm not saying that in a way of you know con um, convincing them or but there's a process whereby marketing uses memory to actually make you want something right so how can we leverage that process in our affiliate marketing and our online marketing and all our strategies online to to you know to get more sales all right so we're going to get to that but just in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets now if you're like me and you're a person who likes to understand the inner workings of things this you're probably going to enjoy this but if you're somebody who kind of struggles with that or doesn't think it's important you should at least pay a little attention because it will affect your activities and why you need to do certain things maybe you'll be like oh i never thought of it that way or whatever so just make sure you listen in and uh, we'll get to that before though i want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to check out the video and the blog post at cis447.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen I'll be showing you some things that will be uh, worth going to check that out all right so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen right now just to show you what I've been looking into where is that all right so you know this is just a website I just did a google search on how does the memory work how does the brain work right and they talk about different kinds of memories right we got sensory memory short-term memory long-term memory and when you're doing online marketing when you're doing well any kind of marketing really you're leveraging that process the process we have of how we remember things right and you might be thinking well why is, what does this have to do with anything but one of the things you might know is you know how leaders they tell you how you have to post all the time how if you have to engage on people's stuff how you have to do all these different things how do you have to contact people how you have to um take actions on posts how you have to be consistent how it has to be the same stuff all these things affect how somebody remembers you right so you might know this that you know as a person who remembers stuff a person when you're a child and you have a traumatic event in your life you remember that event right whether it's a bad memory or a good memory like maybe the first time you ever had ice cream if you weren't you know a toddler you might remember that because it was so amazing right or the you know when your parents got divorced or things like that if things happened in your life or maybe you were part of an accident I mean I remember an accident I was in when I was in I guess I was 12 or something or maybe even 10 I went to a field trip that was a in a different province like you know a flight and a, oh no actually it was on a boat so we crossed and there was this accident and I remember the accident or at least feeling the accident I don't remember all the details anymore now but I do remember that it was something that I was like oh my god that's crazy that you know I remember the feeling right and that's because in our memory we'll remember things more when we're affected by emotion right so that's one of the reasons why leaders talk about and uh, you know affecting people at the emotional level right when you're posting something post things that they can they can feel feel good or about obviously you want people to feel good not bad because then they associate the bad feeling to you instead of the good feeling so that's definitely more important to have good feeling right so but that's not what I really want to talk about I want to talk about the frequency or not the frequency but the where can is that anywhere in here just basically actually I had another article right here that I looked at which basically talks about the two system memories right system one which is the uh, subconscious part of your memory which is things that you do automatically like after you learn how to drive a car in the very beginning you're using system one which is basically you paying attention to what you're doing and what the teacher's telling you and putting it in practice and taking action based on that right that that's that's what you that's how we learn almost everything right we're basically told something 
and we you know take actions and then we and then and then we eventually remember it and then it becomes uh, in our subconscious and that's how we no longer have to really think about it right so those are things that are important in our lives what you want as a marketer is you want people to internalize things so that they are not really they're not thinking about it anymore right so how does that relate to online marketing right so when we talk about online marketing well actually let's let's go back to here where it talks about uh, where no it's down here I had a, a place right here where it's talking about the different ways of learning to remember something right so they talk about uh, state dependent shemas chunking deliberate practice anyways those are things <laughs> that basically um, are how a student might learn something right but these your prospects they're not students right you're trying to use things like you might have heard of interrupt marketing you might have heard of uh you know uh consistency persistence right Con uh, congruency doing the same thing over and that's why ads work because with ads you pay money to get people to see something of yours for many times before they actually recognize it right and that's one of the secrets and if i go back here i'm trying to see there's a place where it talked about no is it maybe not this one well i thought i read this uh how does memory no 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 i'm just trying to remember storage refers to how uh there's a place where he talks about the frequency well i guess it must be in here state dependency shema no maybe it was in this paragraph over here but anyways the point is that you remember something because you've seen it enough times and it just gets in there right so it's like repetition right if you're repeating something you'll remember it better because you've done it over and over and over and over right now you know some experts talk about muscle memory for like exercising or riding a bicycle or things like that talk about other kinds of memory right but in our case what we can do the only thing we can do is well here's the other thing right visual memory versus so you got these different kinds of memory you you remember things you heard you remember things you you saw you remember even things you smelled things that you tasted and things you touched right so those are the kinds of memories that we have on social media obviously there's no smell and there's no taste although if somebody posts something about say i don't know a chocolate cake you might you might remember the taste of your grandmother's chocolate cake by seeing a picture right because you're you're tying that memory to to that you're tying the image that somebody posts to a memory you had in the past now obviously you can't rely on that when you're trying to build especially if they're cold prospects that don't even know who you are right they don't know who you are so they're not they're not gonna be able to, you're you can't you can't uh, assume although that's kind of one of the things about a uh, um, you know building an audience and having an avatar and all those different things but let's just say that we're talking about posting regularly why do you have to post let's let me go back to my let me go to the notes here so let's just talk about the things we do as marketers right as marketers as marketers online online marketers I guess I should say online marketers right online marketers we need to we need to so we talk about number one we talk about posting regularly right now why is that important right why is it important to post regularly there's <laughs> that's the frequency thing right as people see you and see your post on the news feed they're more likely to remember you and to start to connect what you post with with you right so for example if you're posting every single day about cats people will automatically start to whenever whenever they start seeing cat pictures they're automatically going to think maybe it's you and <coughs> they will you know connect you to cats right same thing with one of the marketers i i follow she's always posting about coffee right she posts about coffee drinking coffee the taste of coffee the effects of coffee things like that so whenever I go to her page I always know there's gonna be something to do with coffee but I also if I see in the feed something about coffee it makes me think of her right and that's the point so repetition makes people connect things together right so two things together so what you want is you want you to be connected to something right what is that thing that you want to be connected to so you use that to uh to connect whoops connect 
yourself to a particular particular um I guess topic we could say or or subject or but you know the thing is that that's why leaders talk about posting about certain things that you want your avatar to be connected to so that means like you know posting about things that your avatar cares about because they'll connect their emotions to what you're posting right so that's why you have to post regularly because if you don't post well people will stop seeing you they're just going to forget you right and that's why it's important to post all the time regularly memory is affected by frequency and by repetition right so repetition of <coughs> of your posting right so now the other thing is uh you also have to uh, be consistent right be consistent with your schedule and uh, and content right so your content and your schedule has to be consistent now you can't you can post every single day you can post every single week you can post every single month <coughs> but you have to be consistent now, obviously a month is probably too long so most leaders say two three times a week or even every day depending on your audience and depending on what you're posting some post like three four times a day right but that's really it's really the important thing is to be consistent now if you're going to be posting it you know f five or ten times a day you you're going to have to do that all the time because if you don't do that there's a couple things that happen first the memory of somebody is affected by the the way you do things right so if you're posting once a day and then all of a sudden you change to five times in a day and you know sure you can do that sometimes but if you're doing it all the time where you're always changing things that affects somebody's ability to keep you in their mind right what you want is you want people to be to feel like they know you so that as they as they see more of your content and it it's congruent with what they have made up in their mind of what you're about and what kinds of stuff you post about they they see that as being consistent with what you said before so i mean it's like um if you're into a network marketing and all of a sudden you start talking about um i don't know about uh bitcoins right all of a sudden you change to some other topic they're gonna it's gonna affect them it's gonna affect their their ability to like you or not right so you got to be consistent with your content you got to be congruent that's the other thing the congruency right which is all about now how does that so how does that work with timing right so number three they say to be active on facebook right so be active and engage on other people's stuff right so that's the other thing when how is memory affected by that right so if you go and comment on somebody's post right it's all about repetition again it's repetition memory is about repetition if you do something once and then you don't do it again like a month until a month later somebody will most likely have forgotten you so that's why it's important to be can to be doing it regularly right so one of the things that you'll notice is that on Facebook if you um if you let Facebook decide what you see and you just engage on the stuff that's on the feed you're going to be uh, not necessarily you know impacting somebody's a memory of you right because Facebook is going to show you what it thinks you should be engaging on it'll show you what it thinks you are interested in it'll show you what it thinks you know um based on your activities in the past and things like that too right so there's all these algorithms that are going on but what you want to do is you want to take control of that you know, the, the memory that somebody has of you right so how do you control the memory that they have so this is what this topic supposed you know we're supposed to talk about how to get someone to buy how to get someone to buy from you right and i'm not like i said i'm not saying that as a negative you know like oh my god i i'm i'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to swindle somebody into something obviously i want to make sure this is ethical i don't want you to think that you're that you know because this could work with unethical stuff because the secret is repetition being consistent and you know 
Well, that's really it. <laughs> Repetition and consistency are the two things that are super important. And it's, well, I guess targeting in the sense of uh, taking action against the same person, right? So if you're just relying on the feed, on the news feed, on the platform to, to show you who to engage with, that isn't going to work as well as if you're taking control. So for example, say you decide, okay, I'm going to take these 20 people and I'm going to be in their you know, face all the time, if you want, not to say it negatively, but, you know, I'm going to be there. I'm going to make sure they see me all the time. And how do you do that? How do you make sure that these 20 people see you all the time? Right. So, I mean, obviously you could do things like go to their page and post on their page and do things like that, which would be creepy. Right. So you don't want to do something that they don't want you to do. It's kind of like, you know, if you go in a neighborhood and you knock on everybody's door, and you go back to their door and knocking on their door every day, they're going to get annoyed. They might even call the cops on you, right? You don't want to get in their space, right? So on social media, what that means is sending messages all the time and sending them um, uh, posts on their page, right? Those kinds of things. Or even commenting on their comments in groups, those are, you know, iffy. They're, most people won't like that because they're not, that's not what they're looking for. You got to know what are people looking for, right? <clears throat> so let's ask these, let's ask these questions, right? So number one, what are people looking for on social media, right? So what are people looking for on social media? Uh, what can, what is, whoops, what is acceptable? acceptable to do on let's well facebook right on facebook what's not acceptable what is not acceptable right okay so here's okay what are people what are people looking for right what are they looking for they want they want others to notice them right they want others to notice them they want others they want compliments and um well they want compliments right okay let's just say they want compliments right so oh my god that's a great picture or the what a cute baby or your dog looks adorable or <clears throat> you know things like that because people will post things on social media they'll post pictures of their family they'll post pictures of their animals their trips their things like that and they're looking for people to actually react to those things right they want people to actually comment on them I mean, if you post a picture on Facebook, you're, you're posting it because you want people to see it, right? That's the whole point of the social media apps is to connect with others and let people see what you're about. <clears throat> but they don't want you to go knocking on their door, you know, going to their Facebook profile and posting content there. They don't want you to be sending them a link in your comments, in their comments. They don't want you to, <clears throat> you know, people don't want those kinds of activities, right? So they don't want... So what's acceptable? Well, let's do that, right? What's acceptable is uh, in um, reacting, reacting to a post, right? Um, commenting on a post, right? <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so reacting to a post and commenting on a post. So if I go to Facebook and I see a picture, I'll heart it or like it or, you know, or wow it. You know, those different reactions that Facebook has. And comment on the post, right? You want to comment on the post and say, that's a great picture. You want to say, oh, my God, I did that too. You know, things that are kind of related. You want to make, make it not just like a, a, sing, a simple thing where you say wow or awesome all the time. Although you can do that sometimes. But you want to make sure that sometimes you're actually being, you know, posting a, a relatively longer, like a phrase or something, right? That kind of answers what they're asking maybe or depending on what kind of post it is, right? What's not acceptable? What's not acceptable? First is posting links, links on their, yeah, in a comment, in a comment on their posts right so you don't want to be you don't want to be that salesy guy you don't want to be that salesy gal right that posts here and you know even somebody says something like i don't know my dog my dog is having some sort of 
problem, right? Oh my God, I got this product that I can sell you that'll help your dog. And, and you post a link in the comment, right? That nobody wants that. Nobody's going to buy it from you. You're, you're being spammy. So you don't want to do that, right? The other thing is uh, commenting on someone's on someone's comment to a group post now that is uh i leave it up to you but you know most times when somebody comments on a post like somebody's posting in a group saying something they're either asking a question or something like that and this and this person comments on that post uh, by answering the question you don't want to go to that particular comment and react or well you could react sometimes but just you got to be careful right because keep in mind like would you want somebody to comment on your comment or you know maybe you answer the question that's in the original post but and and say something like oh just like x i i agree this is exactly what you should do right that could be potentially okay but you don't want to go on their comment and react to their comment and say yeah well i guess you could do that too but you got to be careful because people are not looking for engagement on their comments they're looking for engagements on their posts right that's kind of what face and that's one of the reasons why facebook actually does uh reward that right so if you're commenting on people's posts and you're engaging on their posts Facebook will reward you by sharing your post and making other people sue. Okay, now let's go back to this understanding the memory process, right? So what I said earlier is that the memory process, as you can see from these, these you know, these pages that explain it, I'm not an expert, obviously, but the, the way that the memory works is by repetition. So how does that help you, right? One of the things that it really, really, really helps is by knowing that if you repeat enough actions that are the that people see right either posting all the time right or even engaging on people's posts the same person engaging on their post whenever they post something obviously not necessarily every single post although some people like that but you know you don't need to engage on every single post but as long as you engage regular regularly on somebody's posts they're actually going to notice and they're going to start to recognize you when they see you comment again, right? So the other thing to keep in mind is that memory is not like you can't. Okay, here's another thing. One thing, one thing you cannot do is um, assume that repetition is a one a repetition um well actually what i'm trying to say is that you you need to have a frequency and a rest time between your repetition repetition can't be all at at same time so what does that mean what does that mean you you can't you repetition can't be all at the same time whoops i'm, I'm not I'm gonna put that up a little bit so repetition can't be all at the same time so what does that mean so assuming that you're let's assume right so assuming you are engaging on 20 people's posts you can't think you can't so can't you can't you can't you well you won't you will not <laughs> you will not get the same results by commenting on 20 posts today then one post a day every day for 20 days for 20 days read that again right so you're not going to get the same results commenting on 20 posts today say you go to somebody's profile and you comment on 20 posts today first of all Facebook probably won't let you or at least it'll it'll flag you as being a spammy right uh so if you were to go to 20 people's 20 people's profiles and you were engaged on 20 posts of each of these people by just going through the newsfeed and well their their profile page right their 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 
their profile and go to the 20 posts there and just comment on all those go to the next person comment on 20 posts go to the next person comment on 20 posts like if you did that all today right if you did that all today you would not get the same results as if you did a single post every day for 20 days do you say that again commenting on 20 posts over 20 days so one a day has not the same impact at all it's totally totally insane the difference it makes so this is what you want to do you want to be posting on you want to be doing one post a day every single day you want to be posting you want to be commenting on a post a day right so how do you like you know uh, okay so how do you do that right because you can certainly go to facebook and just look at your friend list and just pick 20 friends and just say okay i'm gonna comment on these 20 people for 20 days right they're gonna be impacted nobody else will because you're focusing on just these 20 people right but the chances of them wanting to buy from you after those 20 days is so much higher than randomly doing things because you're basically going to be focusing on these 20 people they're going to be seeing you comment on their stuff every day they're going to be seeing you in their notifications they're going to be going to your page and checking you out they're probably going to be starting to see your post in their news feed because facebook rewards you for engaging on other people's stuff <coughs> so that is a huge huge bin and why does this like why does this matter right that's how human memory works because the memory works by taking you know okay so here's the thing just one thing at a time here you go to one person's profile you comment on one of their posts that shows up in their notifications they see your profile picture in their notifications and that's it let's just say that's the first time right so number one you comment on their post they see in their notifications and then they see your face and they're like okay great right that person they go to bed the next day they post something else and you comment on that they see you again in their news feed right so that's the repetition the visual memory is being you know triggered right so i'm not i'm not sure how many days it takes for them to actually start to to notice you they, i don't know if it's the third day the second day the fourth day it, i guess it depends on their ability and how many other things they see but the uh, the secret is that if they if you do keep doing that all the time they see you all the time it's guaranteed that they're going to start to notice you and recognize you and they're going to say oh that person's been really active on my post there they're really they're really nice and putting nice comments in and that kind of stuff so they automatically will start to like you that's just that's automatic they're going to start to like you and as you know online marketing is all about getting people to know like and trust you right so that's how they buy from you because they trust you how do they get them to trust you well because they end up liking you enough that they start to trust you because they automatically equate you as a person who's trustworthy because you've been around long enough and you haven't swindled them right so that's the first thing people will automatically trust somebody who is not out to get them right so obviously if they learn of this strategy right and they they might feel that oh that's all you're doing and some will see that and they will think that so that might take longer for them to actually get to the point where they do trust you they might need to see you with results they might need to see other people talk about you you know those kinds of things but the secret is that they will definitely start to know who you are because they're going to see your face <laughs> all the time in their notifications right and that's one of the things that i take advantage of using my tool uh, active group users which by the way i'm doing a demo on monday night um, at 8 p.m eastern but that's the thing right so you need to have a list of people that you're going to be engaging on regularly all the time so that they start to notice you and they start to know you and they start to like you that's the memory process of repetition visual visually seeing something and being being affected by our memory here's another article i guess here but i mean that's the thing right the our our visual visual memory is triggered every time we see something and if it's repeated often enough we're going to recall it as soon as we see it we're going to be like oh and we're going to remember how we feel about that right and that's kind of how it works we remember things based on our recollection of things and how we felt when we first 
sought at. And over time, we end up learning how to, you know, connect the dots, if you will, right? And that's what memory is all about. Memory is all about repetition and and long-term, short-term memory, right? And the system one, system two, and all those things. But that's the thing. So if you remember th something and it makes you feel good, then you'll remember it even more. And you, that's how you get people to know, like, and trust you so that they get to buy from you eventually. And uh, so, yeah. That's it. So let's just uh, finish off um, this and we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.